There's three basic uses for using Planetside 2's new feature called FSR, which is also called DLSS. They're just the NVIDIA and AMD equivalents. And we'll talk about those in a second. And in a minute, I'll also teach you how to upgrade DLSS manually, and that'll make sure that you don't have as much of a visual loss and better performance. If you want to find out if you're GPU bound, all you need to do is go in game, hold down Alt and F or type slash FPS. If it says that you're GPU bound, then you'll likely benefit from DLSS. Just keep in mind that it does create CPU load in order to make DLSS run. And so if you're CPU bottlenecked, it's actually not going to help in order to run DLSS. It will just make your game look a little bit worse without any added benefit in terms of frames. If you're on 1080p, honestly, the game kind of looks a bit garbage with DLSS on. So it's something really for people with 1440p or really low FPS or with a 4K monitor. However, you may also want to enable this if you've got one of those new AMD 3D CPUs, which is making your game actually run really fast. And that may actually make it so that you're more GPU bottlenecked than you are CPU bottlenecked. The other reason that generally people will use FSR is because they can't run DLSS. Basically, if your graphics card's not a 2000 series or a 3000 series on NVIDIA, you're going to have to use FSR, which is slightly worse than NVIDIA, but it's not a massive amount. You also want to use the quality mode, not the performance mode for DLSS or FSR, whichever one you choose. I'm also going to leave some instructions in the comment section in order to upgrade your version of DLSS manually. Now, technically, you are modifying files, which you can get banned for. When I did it, it didn't seem to ban me and it did run just fine. Just remember you're going to have to do this every time you open the launcher before you press play. Hope that's been interesting. Hope you've learned something new. I'm out. GG. Bye bye.